Hey, welcome to the Bookmap Platform Details webinar. This is Bruce at Bookmap. Risk disclaimer, trading futures, equities, and digital currencies involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. For more information, go to bookmap.com uh, and uh, you can get a, a free version of Bookmap. Um, and if you want to subscribe, uh, I'll go through the di different options here, but uh, if you subscribe, uh, you get uh, the Bookmap educational course comes along with it. Okay, it's a four-part course, uh, and um, and then you get access to the live webinars that start at 11 uh, Eastern time. Okay, so in about um, uh, 27 minutes or so. Okay, so the uh, live order flow uh, webinars, the advanced ones, we go through order flow phenomena and not uh, the platform details, okay? There are a few platform details now and then, but uh, uh, that's what this webinar is for. It's for people who are new to Bookmap, uh, although we will cover some of the order flow here, but just some of the basics, okay? Uh, to get more in depth, we go to the uh, um, advanced order flow webinars, okay? People are more interested there. They're beyond the um, uh, platform details, uh, they're looking at specifics uh, in order flow and using Bookmap. Okay. All right. Let's take a look here at the website. Scroll down a little bit. There's an intro video here, uh, sections about Bookmap. Uh, you can read more about it there. Uh, Bookmap for equities through NASDAQ Total View. This is an excellent uh, uh, a data feed here uh, through uh, DX Feed or Dev Experts. Okay, low latency, uh, full depth of market, uh, which is fantastic. Um, you know, plenty of liquidity, uh, lots of instruments. Uh, and uh, uh, you can look at very specific things within those uh, uh, various uh, uh, stock symbols, uh, you know, looking for uh, something specific uh, that uh, uh, meets your needs. And you can see it very, very clearly in Bookmap, as you'll see as we go through some of the demo here. Um, all right, connectivity, this is an important area. You will need to provide data. Okay, Bookmap is a visualization visualization software trading platform. Okay, we are not a data provider. Uh, you can also see there's some other platforms here as well, like NinjaTrader, TTX Trader Pro, and Interactive Brokers Traders Workstation. Okay, we connect via the API of those three platforms. Uh, so uh, if you have data for those platforms, well, you can connect Bookmap. Uh, however, we are a platform as they are. So you can connect Bookmap directly uh, through CQG, Rhythmic, Gain Capital, IQ Feed, Transact, Dev Experts, uh, which is that NASDAQ total view that I was talking about, and Trade of 8. Trade of 8 is going to be with CQG. Okay. Um, and uh, and anything here with, uh, with Stage 5 as well. All right. Okay. Uh, let's uh, continue on down uh, the bookmap platforms here. Okay, you can uh, uh, you can see the uh, offerings here. Uh, there's monthly and yearly. So if you want yearly, just click on this, and you'll come over and get 20% discount. Uh, and uh, here here is the um, uh, the details. Okay, so there's digital and there's global. Okay, so the digital only connects to digital currencies. Okay, so uh, this is a free version here with a digital. Okay, no credit card details, nothing is required. Uh, you only get one digital currency. Uh, it's through the GDAX exchange, which is uh, what we offer for all of the different platforms here. Uh, and uh, you also get um, the um, a real time full depth data here. Uh, it's connected to live markets. Uh, you get to see the heat map and the, the volume and the order flow. Uh, and um, uh, you can also click, uh, use the one click trading, uh, but only in simulation mode. Okay, you cannot use it in the, in the live market. All right, and uh, you can only look at one instrument at a time. Okay, and uh, you only get the basic education. You do not get access to that advanced education as I was uh, referring to earlier. And uh, you also get limited support. Okay, so that's the free version. The, the digital plus version uh, is your a your it's thirty seven dollars per month. You're able to um, uh, get um, a full depth of market, uh, but you can also record and replay uh, your data files. Okay, you also get multiple instruments. Okay, so you can have up to twenty 
uh, different digital currencies or cryptocurrencies. Okay, you also get access to the advanced order flow education and the uh, advanced order flow webinars. Okay, and you get full support as well. Uh, the global here, all right, so for $49 per month, uh, you get everything from the Digital Plus, uh, but it also supports uh, both um, uh, futures and equities. Okay, but you will need to provide the, the data for the futures or equities. All right, you also get that advanced education and full support. Uh, global Plus is everything in global, uh, but uh, you also get the ability to trade right from the bookmap chart. And this is a huge bonus uh, because uh, you can uh, uh, hide uh, your uh, orders, uh, your stop orders behind high liquidity, or you can front run it, uh, your orders for entry uh, in front of high liquidity. Okay, you also get uh, uh, some of these uh, proprietary add-on indicators that we put together that look exclusively at order flow uh, and specific players. Okay, identifying larger players with a large lot tracker, identifying larger players using iceberg orders, uh, imbalances in the uh, volume and the order book, uh, and a correlation tracker for different markets. Okay, uh, if you want the, a complete list here, features list, you can click here. Uh, and uh, if you need a data feed, uh, if you don't have a data feed, uh, you can also get a demo feed. Uh, you can click here. Okay. All right, some of our partners, uh, support, et cetera. Uh, let's see, you can follow us here on Twitter. All sorts of new information coming up. Uh, and uh, it's at bookmap underscore pro. That's our Twitter handle. Uh, and you can also subscribe to us here on YouTube. And any new videos that come up, uh, you can you can get uh, alerted for. Okay, so I, I would recommend if you're new here, uh, look at some of the intro videos. Uh, then go to some of the features and, comp and components here. You can see the new Bookmap 7.0 overview right here. That's a new video. Uh, that's what I'll be demoing here. And then there's the video order, the order flow video snippets. Okay, so with these, uh, you can uh, uh, look at some of the concepts uh, that we go over in the advanced order flow webinars uh, in the live markets. Okay, these are very concise videos that go over the, just the concepts of that order flow phenomena. All right, a lot of a lot of uh, traders find these uh, order flow video snippets very helpful. Okay, well let's jump into Bookmap here and um, see what's going on. Oops. Okay, we'll take a look at uh, Nasdaq here and let's zoom out quite a bit here and see what's going on. Okay, a lot of sideways action here. We're down below the 7,000 area, so that's uh, that's going to be key. Uh, and um, all right, so what are we looking at here uh, in Bookmap? All sorts of things on, on the chart here is is what it looks like. It's actually um, not. Uh, it, it, I mean, there's a lot of data here. Uh, we're, we're, we have uh, the ability to record every single market event. Okay, but uh, let me, I'll go through it here and, and simplify it for you because actually uh, this is really simple data uh, and uh, it's not, um, uh, let's get rid of the VWAP here. Okay, and let's get rid of some of these other ones. Uh, just a minute here. Okay, there's only three elements on this chart. Uh, there is historical best bid and offer. Okay, the volume dots here that trade on that historical best bid and offer. Uh, and then this heat map that you see here, this colored heat map, what that is showing is the uh, the record um, of the uh, liquidity. Okay, so where traders were lining up to provide liquidity in the book. So this is current up here. There's 120 contracts up here at uh, 91 and a half. All right, uh, and we we know that uh, we have full depth of market here. Uh, Rhythmic offers full depth of market. I think CQG does too, but not quite yet for CME. Uh, so all of these all of these levels are live. This is a tremendous bonus here uh, and a, a advantage for you. Okay, we know where they're lining up to to bid and offer. Okay, now this is the current book right here, right to the right of this white line. Uh, so. Uh, you'll see the liquidity change in the numbers here, and then the, the heat map will change. Okay, and uh, then we record it and, and uh, 
is transposed onto the chart historically here. So you know where they're bidding and offering. Okay, and it offers all sorts of insights here. And we're going to go through it. Let me just take off uh, one of the indicators here. Uh, and then uh, the POC indicator. Uh, and then we'll let's, uh, let's take a look at a, uh, a candlestick chart. And I'm just going to simplify this. Whoops, volume dots. Okay, and best bid and offer. Okay, so, and, and, and what you're seeing in bookmap compared to a candlestick chart. Okay, so this is the view that we're accustomed to. Uh, there is all sorts of data here that is, is completely opaque. Uh, we have no clue, uh, for example, about microstructures within this area. And that's because this is a, an aggregated period of time. This is a five minute candlestick chart. So there's only four data points here, open, high, low, and close. That's it. So there's all sorts of opacity there. What happened within that five minute period? We have no clue, okay? There's gonna be microstructures in here that are broken, and we're gonna see uh, very important volume trading within those microstructures, which gives us tremendous insight to uh, future price movement, okay? So let's turn on the historical best bid and offer, and that very simplistically gives you the microstructure, okay? And uh, we can see a nice, nice structure already right here uh, at 9:30, the 9:30 open. Okay, we see a, a move to the upside. Okay, look where we broke from here, this little high. Well, we come back and retest it here, here, and here, and here as well. Okay, so it accepted above that level. Okay, and this is around uh, what 90, uh, uh, 69, 80, or 81. And, uh, you know, so time and acceptance uh, right after, and there's going to be a lot of volume in here because this is the uh, the 930 cash open, okay? And it looks like it's accepting pretty nicely up here. But also look at some of this microstructure here, okay? We're starting to see it, it uh, it's going sideways here, okay? Which you don't see in the candlestick chart. Uh, and uh, uh, we, we can also see that um, uh, it's uh, not making, it makes a higher high here, but it fails here, okay? Now it's making a lower high. Now it's making a lower low. And yet again, a lower low and just a slightly lower high over here. Okay, this is giving us a lot of insight okay, for the potential uh, for a move and a breakdown below this 81 level. All right, so uh, uh, that's what we want to know. Uh, we wanna know this kind of insight and this the candlestick chart is not helping us whatsoever here uh, with that kind of insight. We, we have no clue. Uh, so uh, let's turn on the volume uh, and we're going to see a lot more. Okay, so here's our 930 open, lots of volume, of course, uh, a lot of buying, uh, as you can see, uh, trading to the upside. And this is actually very indicative of uh, a move to the upside. Look at the exhaustion here on the sell side down here. Not a lot of selling. Okay, so the market rotates up and, and it trades up into these ranges up here. Uh, because that's where the activity is, okay? We don't see any of that within the candlestick chart, okay? Uh, the candlestick chart is completely opaque to uh, what volume traded, uh, where, uh, how much, and what type, okay? Was it aggressive buying or selling, okay? And all of this is recorded here and uh, uh, displayed in book map, okay? Uh, even better, uh, than a footprint chart. And why is that? Well, let's zoom into this area, okay? The reason being is that even the footprint chart is gonna aggregate data within a time period or bar rotation or volume uh, 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 number or threshold, something like that, right? That's just what they do. That's the way that uh, the structure is set up. And, it, and it, it lacks transparency because we can see microstructures uh, and we can see how the volume traded in reference to those microstructures, okay? And that's what gives us the insight here. Uh, and um, uh, so, for example, this uh, this move to the downside, this is a break of this little micro range here, okay? And uh, but it was this was uh, unsustained. There was very little selling down here. There was there's a little bit, okay, but uh, not not that much, okay? Market starts to rotate back up, and, and you can see buyers start to step in here and trade it right back into the range, okay? Uh, and uh, we see a little bit of exhaustion here on the buy side as well, uh, both sides, really. Uh, so uh, it's kind of going sideways here, 
But uh, what I'm looking at here are these are these points right at the top, okay, and right at the bottom. Okay, is there significant volume trading in those areas? We want to know that, uh, or lack of. Uh, if there's lack of, we're looking for uh, that potential for a return back into the range and possibly to the other side of the range. Okay, and uh, and then you can see here uh, that uh, we did not make a a, a lower low. Okay. There's a nice little cluster here of volume, but it's just not not enough to uh, to drive it down. We rotate back up into this area, and this is exactly where we pause. Okay, so this illustrates my point. Uh, this is where we see more volume trade and more volume trade over here, and also in these in these areas. So the market knows it can transact in this area. Okay, in this microstructure. Okay, or in this bigger structure. All right, uh, but here is where we see the difference. Okay, is where look at the buying that that pulls the market up out of that area here. Okay, this is a, a, a buyer stepping in and lifting the offer. Okay, not a lot in here, but here you you do see it. Okay, uh, ultimately this 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 move fails. Okay, there's not enough buying pressure, uh, and um, uh, how how do we see that? Well, this is actually, uh, I'll probably show this in the advanced uh, order flow webinar, uh, really beautiful example of a, uh, a micro uh, head and shoulders here. And this is exactly how it looks uh, on a higher time frame, okay? It's more volume trading at a higher high, okay? And then not much more trading up here at a higher high, okay? We rotate back down. Uh, there's a little bit of selling in here, okay? But it's kind of sideways action. We come back up, retest this area. We don't make a higher high. There's no volume trading up in this area here. So we start to rotate lower, and this is where the sellers come in and hit the bid, and they take control of the market. Okay, the sellers are now in control at this area, and they continue to take control and and hit the bid here. Okay, now we're only looking at two elements here in Bookmap. Okay, and that's where I I, I, I go back. If, if I zoom in. Uh, I can display it very clearly, okay? And note that we can also just zoom into these these levels, these, uh, 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 you know, looking at extreme, extremely low uh, time frames here. Now we're looking at microseconds. We can even go down to millis, uh, I mean, uh, uh, nanoseconds. Okay. Oops, looks like uh, didn't like that. Okay, this is a new version that I have here. So uh, just had a... Uh, just had a crash. Okay, this is a beta version. And it's a new build as well. So, because uh, I haven't had that one before. So let's just give this a minute. And then uh, one of the uh, new uh, features here in Bookmap 7.0 is the historical data. Okay, so. Uh, uh, I'll reload my uh, my book map. So if your computer crashes or you know if uh, book map crashes, uh, you won't lose all your data that you recorded. Okay, so let's uh, open up book map again. Okay, it's still closing. Okay, it's just loading right now. There we go. Let's open it back up. Okay, and see, you can see here it's loading my historical data here. Okay, so we'll just give it uh, give it a little bit. And we'll take all the indicators off here as well. All right. Okay, so you can see that little blank time here. Uh, 
that uh, book map was down. Kind of a critical time to see, actually. Um, so let's uh, let's go back to that uh, that high of the day here, uh, up in this area, and um, th these th this is just those two elements uh, of uh, of book map that uh, I was showing here. Um, one was the historical best bid and offer, and then the volume that traded on that historical best bid and offer. Okay, and uh, we show that with the volume dots. All right, uh, and um, uh, yeah, here, here's the view, you know, so uh, here's the red dots here. Uh, these are aggressive market sell orders that took liquidity off of the best bid. And uh, the um, uh, green dot here is an aggressive market buy that took liquidity off of the best ask. All right. So that's it. It's very simple. Uh, but the insights are um, are pretty, pretty amazing. Uh, so... Um, there's a third element here that we haven't covered, and that's the heat map, okay? And the heat map is actually very simple as well. So I've got it, uh, you know, I'm, I'm kind of uh, back, scrolled back here, uh, but uh, uh, you can see, for example, here at uh, uh, 6987, 59 contracts, okay? This area is pretty bright, okay, because it has high liquidity, right? So actually, let's go to the current market. And uh, let's take a look here as we zoom in. All right. So the um, uh, look, looking at book map here. All right. Well, where's the high liquidity? Boom, right here. Uh, we know at at 68 and a half because we can we can see the numbers here. But I, I can just very visually see it right here in the current market window. Okay. This is best bid and offer right now. This number is the last traded volume. And then here, someone just came in with high liquidity on the offer. 67 contracts. Okay. Large lot tracker was telling me that it was one player. He actually pulled and he added lower. How do I know that? Well, we just recorded all of that information. Okay. That would be very difficult to read here in the dome. Okay. Understanding this player doing this here. Okay. It is one player. It's, it, it's, it's got to be. Okay. Uh, because, uh, you know, like 99% sure here, because look how he's pulling here, adding lower, pulling here, adding lower and pulling and then adding back up and then back and forth here. Okay, he's providing high liquidity, but we've got a record of it all. So we know specific players and how they're reacting to the auction or in the auction to price action. Okay, and uh, it gives us a lot of insight uh, to understand this player's behavior or many of these players' behavior. So we just traded into high liquidity down here at this 68 and a half, okay? And uh, let's zoom into that area, okay? And uh, answer this question, okay? Did they pull uh, their high liquidity or did they, they stay in the book, okay? And there was a, a combination here, but for the majority of it, uh, you know, there was, uh, we can use the uh, data tip tool here, and uh, there was 104 contracts that were here, okay, on the bid, right? They traded right into this area and they started to, um, uh, take the the aggressive sellers uh, took on the uh, these guys providing liquidity here, okay. And in fact, uh, more more traded here. We can see that 209 contracts overall is what traded. Okay, we're probably going to see some icebergs there. I'm going to turn it on just for the kick, the kick of it here. Um, hmm. Okay, that's surprising. I thought we for sure we'd see an iceberg. Uh, let's see here. Maybe it's uh, not on here. Uh, it's on. Okay. Um, okay. So uh, my point is here. Uh, in the limit order book, a lot of traders uh, argue that, uh, well, you know, I don't really care about. I just want to see some of the higher liquidity, but I don't really care about the limit order book too much uh, because it's all fake liquidity, and that's not true. Uh, there is a uh, real liquidity here and this is it. And this is what it looks like. Okay. They just traded into it. Okay. And this larger trader here that had 104 contracts or traders. Okay. They got filled. Okay. Now we, we, we go through a little bit further, uh, and let's see the result. Okay. Uh, because, uh, this is what gives us insight here is to understand that. Okay. That was what 68. 
Okay. Yeah, it was down. It was over here. Well, here's the rebound that we see after that. Okay. So uh, sellers didn't take it down further. Uh, that that that's the story that uh, they took it a little bit further here, but then uh, the buyers started to step in and and they lift the offer. Now, where did they go? Okay. We're we're put, putting this whole whole market together here. Um, the uh, uh, cohesive uh, view of it. As we see, we, we rotate back up and we do not make a higher high here. And remember that player that we identified earlier, pulling and adding and pulling and adding? Well, he got a little more aggressive up here and the buyers uh, uh, pulled away. They did not take him on, okay? Uh, we rotate a little bit lower, okay? And then here, right here is where sellers start hitting the bid. A uh, little retest back to where we broke from and they continue to hit it. Okay, and it looks like this guy down here at 66 pulled the majority of his liquidity. We, we see some transactions down here, but we can see that uh, uh, the volume dot took place uh, uh, lower uh, than uh, the 66 level. Anyway, that's the kind of insight that uh, uh, you can get uh, in understanding the order flow here, and then you can start to look for uh, the uh, uh, future price movement, okay? So uh, if you can understand where they're lining up, uh, those would be your, your areas to target because that's where the liquidity is and start to understand who's in control, okay, by reading the tape or the order flow, uh, more specifically within the microstructure, okay? All right, guys, if you're signed up uh, for Bookmap, then I'll see you over in the advanced webinar. Uh, else uh, we will um, uh, connect tomorrow uh, at the same time. Take care.